नमस्कार मैं सर संजय भारद्वाज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जगन्नाथ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एजुकेशन जिम्स जैमटेक ग्रेटर नोएडा यूपी माय टुडे टॉपिक इज चाइल्ड सेंटर्ड एजुकेशन एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिसिप्लिन एंड सब्जेक्ट तो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द टॉपिक what is the child centered education i read a quote given by carl rogers the learning environment i know i can not teach anyone anything i can only provide the environment in which he can learn this statement was given by carl rogers meaning of child centered learning child centered education or learning is an approach to education focusing on the needs interest aspirations of students rather than those of other others involved in educational process such as teachers and administrators the term student centered or child centered learning refers to a wide variety of educational programs learning experiences instructional approaches and academic support strategies that are intended to address the distinct learning needs interests aspirations or cultural backgrounds of individual students and groups of students these are few definitions of child centered learning number 1 is given by harden and crosby he has described student centered learning as focusing on students learning and what students to do achieve this rather than what the teacher does next definition is given by bernard bernard interprets the ideas of student centeredness as students might not only choose what to study but how and why that topic might be an interesting one to study the scope of child centered learning first is students are actively engaged in their own learning next students are encouraged to think independently students needs and interests determine course activities students have choices next students have opportunities to investigate and discover and next is students work collaboratively and few more points of the scope students are given authentic problem to solve students are assessed for learning next students monitor their own learning next students receive active guided support and instruction and the last is with this approach children are mentally and physically active using their complete body and all their senses to explore and learn about their world this was the scope of child centered education or learning now the next is principles of child centered education number 1 first principle is orientation on the needs of the children active self regulated learning next well designed learning environment social learning as a method and a goal next broad understanding 
of performance and ability. Next, conducive school community. Next, addressing performance assessments in an encouraging manner. These were the principles of child-centered education. Now, the difference between the traditional learning and child-centered education. The points, the first point or the first difference is teachers seen as founding of all knowledge. In the child-centered education, teachers seen as having the role of facilitator. In traditional learning, students adopt passive role. In child-centered education, students adopt active role. Teacher lead, student lead. In traditional learning, student taught to set slavers. Child-centered education, negotiated curriculum. Traditional learning, fixed semester or terms. In child-centered, flexible study pattern. In traditional learning, learning restricted to classroom. In another, learning not restricted to classroom, time, place and pace requires according to the student. Didactic. Utilize, uh, next, utilize the range of teaching method. In traditional learning, set classes each week. In child-centered education, group learning via action learning. This was the difference between the traditional learning and child-centered education. The merits or benefits of student-centered or child-centered learning. These points are for these points are the benefits for the students. Students can work alone or in small groups on and off campus. They can have access to range of learning resources other than the tutor. Students can take exams at own convenience. Students can take ownership of their learning, become reflective learners and be empowered. Students are more motivated and committed towards learning. Students can work and learn in partnership. Students help children, help children become independent, responsible and confident. It gives an opportunity to children invent and discover together as they explore materials, ideas and experience events. They uh, maintain the children's interest by allowing, allowing them to do what is important to them. Give children the opportunity to develop skills in which to take care of their own needs and solve the problems. These are the benefits for the teachers in the case of child-centered education. Teachers act as a facilitators, guides and mentors. Teachers work in teams and draw on the help from technicians, librarians, etc. They are able to work with students to determine teaching and learning strategies. Teachers develop students' ability to become a researcher, assessing multiple sources of information. These are the demerits of child-centered educational learning. Selection of activities is difficult. Focus is on activities rather than subject. School values are ignored. Teachers sometimes ill-prepared to adapt to changing the concepts of the child development. 
students do not possess vital experience to direct and guide their self learning implications for teaching learning methods through these are possible through number 1 independent projects group discussions peer group work field trips quiz practicals classroom presentations computer assisted learning role play debates rounds etc and this was the topic of the child centered education i hope you can understand easily thank you very much